Hello everybody and welcome back my fellow foam fanatics, builders and makers out there. In today's episode, I have three new shoulder patterns in my store today. I have the tech shoulder, uh, which is kind of more of a futuristic shoulder. I have the wasteland, which is kind of the road warrior Mad Max vibe to it. And of course I have the fantasy shoulder, which is kind of the orc or elfin warrior shoulder. Uh, and today I'm gonna do a little tutorial on how to put all three of those together. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with the, um, this one's called the Tech Shoulder. This guy, it's a pretty simple design because it's just one pattern to make the shoulder. Now we cut this, we're gonna cut this guy out, but we're gonna do it at 90 degrees. So hold on, let's cut this out real quick. Now I always like to cut them out separately so it makes it easier to cut out. So again, uh, I like the blade to do the work. I have the tip touching the cutting mat and I drag along the table. And you can see I'm going ahead and keeping the blade up to get my 90 cut. There it goes. Oh, see, it didn't go all the way through. Ah. A little sharper. Okay. Now, when I go ahead and, and cut it out, uh, some of the corners are still a little rounded. Uh, so I take a rotary tool with a sanding drum. And we're going to just clean them up since we just cut it out. It's a little rough on the edges. It's going to go like this. All right, I got these edges all cleaned up with the rotary tool. That's great. Now our next step is to heat form it. Now, this is going to get glued on the top. So these areas right here, I want to put a curl into them first. And I always find it's easier to heat curl them while it's still flat. And once you glue it together, it kind of pulls it together, makes it a little bit cleaner. So, got my foam anvil right here. Got my heat gun. I have my board so it won't warp my table when I'm heating it. And you can see I'm doing one side at a time because foam cools off rather quickly. See that nice curl? Other side. All right, now I heat form it to where I like it, the curls and the spots that I want. I'm going to apply the contact adhesive. And again, this is where the foam scraps come in handy. I make a bunch of little triangles and you smear that glue all the way in, nice and even. Now what makes the foam scraps work really well with the contact adhesive is that contact adhesive, when it's really thin, it dries quickly. So you don't want to get it too gunky or thick it's smooth and even with your contact adhesive. The smoother and even it is, the better it will grab. Now, for people who don't have a hair dryer, you can definitely just kind of fan it back and forth, but I recommend taking a little bit of a hair dryer to speed it up a bit. The question I get a lot is, how do you know when's the right time to put the glue together? Because it is contact. Now, when you look at it up close, and you guys can see is the wet spots, it looks a little shiny in spots it's still too wet you want to wait till it gets a really matte or dull finish dry a little bit longer but i want to make sure it's dry enough to where it's not shiny all right time for the check wow this looks good now i'm going to line up again when you're putting things people always wonder about making a good seam i find it's, i really focus on making sure <clears throat> is touching the top edge first so i kind of let my finger on the top as a as a, as a guide Make sure the top touch first, and then up here on this registration mark, got it. And just really focus on that top edge. And then once it's together, push. Then once it's together, just kind of shove, push the foam together. Make sure there's a really good contact on inside and outside. See, nice and sealed up. There it is. That is the tech shoulder piece. Looks great. And again, it makes it easier if you guys really heat curl these first before putting them together. That makes the world of difference. Now you can actually go back more. Uh, once this dries, I let the glue at least 45 minutes to an hour to kind of get adhesive and dry a little longer. And then go back in with a heat gun and heat up and you can shape it a little bit more. You can kind of pull it and taper it more if you want to because 
if you do it too soon, the heat will just make the glue come apart. So let the glue dry a little longer, heat up, shape it, and you'll be amazed what you can do with this. That is done. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, we're going to do the wasteland shoulder next. Now, this is one part. Uh, we're going to make two of these to serve as a shoulder. So the uh, we're going to make a right and a left. The A edge is what we're going to be gluing together. So we're going to make two of these. So line this guy up. This is the uh, lower shoulder detail parts. As you can notice, there's some notches here I cut out. And this is the... Uh, these are lineup marks to know where you're going to glue the, uh, the edge, the glue edges for the uh, shoulder blade. Again, I just like to separate everything, make it easier. We're going to cut off the shoulder piece. And again, these are going to be 90 on the angles here on the, on the edges. Have these two cut, set aside. And now we're going to move on to the uh, well, arm protection armor here. Now on the edges here, this gets 90 in the top here that on this edge I'm going to give it a slight bevel a bevel end very slight I'm just going to it's a really slight beveled edge and now these guys again cut this 90 here on the this edge this edge 90 90 now for this edge, the inside edge, slight bevel as well. Very slight. There you go. Again, so you guys can see this kind of like kicks in just a little bit because these two are going to get glued together. It's going to come with this little angle to it. Now that we have this, we take the patterns again. Uh, we're going to flip this upside down. And I do that so that I can, we can find our center line right here. Fold the pattern in half, take our Sharpie. We're going to cut a little bit of a trench just to help make the foam have a little bit of a nice crease in it. Same thing here. Take it, fold it in half. And I take my knife and cut a bevel like that, a little triangle. And like that. See? Get a little bit of a crease. All right. Excellent. All right, now we have the parts cut out. We're going to go ahead and heat form them next. Get my board, and we're going to start with the, uh, the two shoulder pieces first. We're going to go ahead and heat this up. And again, I'm going to just put a this flat right here, and I want to put a curl into it. And I want to put a curl all the way across this on both these parts. Now the parts have been heat formed. Moving on to my favorite is gluing. We're going to line them up. And again, I always like touching the top of the edge first. great now these parts right here let's start with the center first I'll make sure these guys line up in the center because make sure they stay in the same spot they bit they're going to bend in the same spot see I'm doing the touching the first front edge first make sure they touch got it same to the front here line them up get that edge touching first all right now you kind of push them together um, when you're gluing a part like this to your shoulder piece, you see this texture foam. Uh, I would recommend grinding this down. You want to get raw foam to raw foam because if you glue this to this surface, it doesn't stick that well. So, now this is why I had the notch on the top is so you can line this up dead center. Make sure it makes contact right here on the line like this see there you go that's it now again once this uh, glue sets for 45 minutes to an hour go back in with a heat gun and don't be afraid to keep shaping and curl once it's together and the glue dries long enough really have fun with that heat gun you know tailor it more to your body you know put more curls into it you can possibly pull this down a little bit but really have fun don't stop at this point you can keep going there it is the wasteland shoulder all right time for the next one the fantasy shoulder. And again, this is just a two-parter, and we can I can see we definitely can squeeze this in here. Can we? Yeah. All right, okay. All right, now it's traced. Flip it over, do the other side. Now, when cutting, the edge we're going to cut is 90. So make sure we get the blade straight up and down. Okay. 
Nice. And for the uh, dart, the same thing again. But for these edges, we're gonna do a hard bevel. So I'll take my blade. Tell you what, let's go ahead and sharpen it first. Now the blade has been freshly sharpened. Coming in, I'm gonna do a hard bevel cut like this. Nice. Now for the next step is heat forming. All right, now they've been heat curled. Um, again, for me uh, doing the bevel cuts, you can go back in with a rotary tool if you'd like to clean these edges up a little bit. Got a little, got a little rough in some spots, which is not too bad. I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit. Now that we glue these together, be sure to glue your darts first. So we're going to do that. Put these darts together first. Line them up again. Just find. There's no registration marks in these because they're pretty easy to line up. Just kind of push them together. Two darts glued together. Let's apply the kind of adhesive on the inside seam. Start with the top edge. Here's where it gets tricky. So what I have to do is start with the top edge, lean in here. You kind of go come backwards like this. And rock up, kind of go invert, but keep the edges going, right? Make sure like that. Make sure I see that registration mark. Come on. Get that edge, get that edge. Edge, 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 edge. Got it. Now, again, you'll see it kind of invert a little bit. That's fine. Push it together. All right, and there it is. The fantasy shoulder. Well, I'll tell you what. Now this is done. The first one we built, the tech shoulder, this has sat long enough. It's dried long enough. So I want to show you that you can go back with a heat gun and do some more shaping. See, and once it cools, look at that. See that? A completely different looking shoulder piece now. See now, it looks completely different than it did before. Again, a little bit of heat shaping, investing, holding curls, heating that foam up, hold it while it cools, and it's much more tailored, less like foam, more like a high-tech metal shoulder. You got the fantasy shoulder, the wasteland shoulder, and a tech shoulder. Again, really simple, basic patterns. The reason I made these is because I want to get patterns that are simple enough you guys can make but also might be close to something you're already making so you can take it get the pattern alter your you know you can alter and change things to your liking to make it match closer to what you actually want to build again please take the patterns have fun with them alter them change them post them i'd love to see them Phew, there they are the shoulders are done again this is great you got the fantasy shoulder <laughs> wasteland text shoulder Again, all these patterns are available in my shop. If you guys are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. While you're at it, go to my website, eviltedsmith.com, where I have numerous patterns, and I have links for shopping. The more you shop from patterns, the more you shop through the links, helps me keep making videos. This video you'll watch was from my live stream I do on Twitch every Monday and Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. My mission is to make patterns that are really simple and basic to get you guys started. And if you can take the patterns and embellish on them and add more to them or change them, I would love to see them. Do that, post photos, make comments below, guys. I have more videos coming. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you back next time right here on Evil Ted Live.